Thank you so much for being here. We will start our laughter session right after the amazing, beautiful intro. Today, I will start with uh, a little story that I read somewhere and I am so sorry for not knowing the source of uh, what I had uh, read before. I really don't remember. I, I remember that it was in the bottom of uh, some book or some uh, magazine. And the story, I don't even know if it's a true story, but this is how it goes. It's about a lady. Uh, she was wealthy and she lived in for 13 no for uh, 15th or 16th century back in Italy and uh, for a miracle miraculous way she just managed to uh, be the master of her own financial affairs which was very rare back then in any country in this planet because women were not supposed to manage money by themselves they were not supposed to have um, properties or manage uh, servants or nothing like that but this lady, she was apparently wealthy and she was her own master of her own affairs. And uh, she decided to wear just black and white. No other color were in her uh, wardrobe. And I think that uh, she was very intelligent and a very interesting woman, person, to manage to create newness and uh, keep interesting as a fashion using just these two colors. And uh, this article kept going and uh, says that uh, she uh, was very beautiful, very famous and popular among uh, women and uh, men, especially men. Most of them just fell in love with her because I am pretty sure she was a very confident woman. And uh, whenever a woman is a confident, with her own self and style and being wealthy helps that a lot too. Uh, that uh, keeps uh, men more interested, more wondering, oh, what can I do? <laughs> so, uh, and uh, it says also that uh, she was, uh, even though she was old, she managed to um, have younger, much younger men f uh, falling in love with her. So I thought she was a mature woman. And <laughs> at the end of this article, it was saying that she was only 33 years old, which was... She was very young, but at that time, 33 years old was very mature, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to start with this uh, uh, article that I read because um, when I was in my uh, teens, late teens and uh, 20s, early 20s, there were a few times where I wish my options would be just two. 
yes or no, right or left. Um, black or white just simple especially with uh, relationships um, I don't know about you other women but um, when I was younger I was willing to have that uh, how do you say uh, confirmation are we uh, dating are we engaged? Uh, are we gonna be married? <laughs> These sort of things, <laughs> and <laughs> which is very useful having just yes or no. We want the yes, of course, but uh, yes or no would help a lot instead of that uh, huge uh, range of uh, shades of gray that we where are we in this relationship <laughs> and um, but the more we force that uh, the more uninteresting it becomes that uh, uh, in one video uh, I uh, mentioned a uh, Brazilian writer Clarice Lispector that uh, wrote a short uh, poem uh, about being distracted a couple that uh, when they were distracted everything worked very well as soon as they start willing to put a name on what they already had to put a shape and contain that then they start losing it they start um, have that from the other without giving and um, so they lost it what they already had without even noticing that the only thing that uh, they could do to keep that beautiful um, thing that they had already in the beginning was just to keep distracted, not giving a name for that. Because that ruined the everything. And uh, we women, most of us, me included, had the tendency to try to make it secure, <laughs> make it clear, and uh, give a name to the relationship. And that ruins most of it. And uh, so, uh, Today, I just wanted to uh, share this with you. If you are young and uh, you are in a relationship which is in a gray zone, just keep that and enjoy that without giving it a name, without willing to move to the next step. No, the next step is now enjoying that moment without knowing Am I in or out? <laughs> that moment is very magical because your heart is always wondering what's gonna be next? Uh, are we going to do this or that? Is he going to uh, call me? Uh, so those things are the best, one of the best emotions in uh, relationship and uh, keeping those emotions is very hard once you have that named and contained in a shape and format so keep that as long as you can and enjoy it uh, as much as you can <laughs>
without being paranoid of wanting to give it a name. And uh, for you who have already a long-term relationship, it's always good to try to go back to that first stage of a relationship, which is so delicious, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> that uh, butterfly in the stomach that, uh, oh my goodness, what's going to happen next? Um, that emotion is so precious and uh, once everything is established you are married already or both of you know already that you are in a stable relationship it's very difficult to have that butterfly again <laughs> isn't it? I know because uh, I was there too but uh, if you could find a way to keep that alive, that will make the whole difference in your relationship with your spouse or your partner. One thing that you could do is uh, just uh, make surprises. Announce that uh, there will be a surprise and uh, let your partner or spouse wonder about what is she up to now <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that will be so um it will expand the shades of your relationship instead of having only black or white. It takes uh, more effort to think of surprises to uh, make and to offer to your partner. but. It is very worthy. So today, uh, this is what I have for you. <laughs> and if you are single and uh, you have no partner, just uh, make a surprise for yourself. Plan something. What can I do? If I were the other, what the other could do for me that would amaze me? Think something that uh, you would take and just do it for yourself. You deserve it. <laughs> so this is my little thinking for today, for you. And uh, with that, I would like to start our love session. for watching this video till the end. I hope you all have a beautiful day. And I do hope that you are aware that today is indeed the best day of your life. And uh, make all you can to perceive and see the variety 
the wide range of possibilities and colors and feelings and emotions and uh, senses that you have right in front of you today. Thank you again and I will see you tomorrow.